So what's going on guys and welcome back to episode number 7 of our Rangers career mode and we are going to be kicking off this game with a game up against Cardiff at the Ibrox Stadium. So let's see how we can get on as we are going to be playing with our first team lineup, but we are going to be making some changes as we want to be playing with the lineup that we had in the previous game. So back on through to Kenny Miller, we're starting well here, so play the ball through to Tammy Abraham, he takes it around his man, Tammy Abraham goes for goal and that's a really good save, very early on. What a ball that is over the top to Kenny Miller. Surely Kenny Miller's going to get on the end of that, isn't he? Please tell me. He does just about. And um, we win the... Oh, I was going to say, I thought we won the ball back there. But we should win that one in the air with Wallace, which we don't. But anyway, we're going to try our best to try and get the ball back and go on the front foot again. Oh, they've got a really good chance. Wackhorn's trying to catch up with Stanku. Stanku goes for goal. And thank you for us, he puts it wide of the post. So we're breaking away with Miller. It's just a problem that we've got Miller on the ball. Not unless Miller can prove everyone wrong. Show that he's not actually the old man. And he goes for goal, but it gets blocked. But that's a good piece of play from Miller. He was using his pace there. At, well, the little pace he has. But we've got to put ball in the box. Can we win that one in the air? We can. But we win ourselves eight another corner kick. So from the corner kick, we're going to try and put it in with some pace. Leon Bailey with a good ball in the box. Can we win that in the air? We can. And it gets cleared off the line. So Harry Winks charging down the right-hand side. Lovely piece of play from Harry. Harry Winks with an absolute delightful ball over the top to Leon Bailey. Leon Bailey's first touch, though, lets him down big time. Good ball back inside to Harry Winks. Harry Winks does well as he offloads the ball through to Harry Forrester. Forrester goes for goal and he's put it wide of the post. So we've got the ball here with Harry Winks. Harry Winks through to Tammy Abraham. No ref! Let's continue. We had the chance. So... Jordan Rossiter here, offloads the ball to Harry Winks. Harry Winks does well, offloads the ball here, through to Waghorn, and Waghorn wasn't on the same wavelength, but he should be able to catch up with Noon, shouldn't he? As Chris Noon's going to be charging down the wing, he's played the ball back inside to Immers, and they're playing some good football. Don't get me wrong, they are cutting us out, but they are playing some good football themselves. They are pretty much parking the bus at the back. They're not really looking for that goal, but we can't really do much about it. We can't break down the defence, and that is what we're really struggling with. I think in January, we're going to have to try and sell on a few players, bring in a few more youngsters, and we need some extra pace in the squad. It's really slow squad, but they've got a really good chance. They go for goal, and following them low down to his right hand side, making a really good save. So Harry Forrester through to Harry Winks. Harry Winks through to Tammy Abraham. Tammy Abraham through to Leon Bailey. This is better play here as Leon Bailey's going to go one way than the other, which he does do as he plays the ball back inside to Harry Winks. Harry Winks does well, takes on his man, cuts back inside. Harry Winks, can he go for the magical goal? No, he can't. So here we go. Kenny Miller through the gap through to Harry Winks. Harry Winks through to Tammy Abraham. Tammy Abraham from a tight angle goes for goal. It's a fantastic save from the goalkeeper. How the hell has he kept that one out? And Kenny Miller can't catch up. And then when he catches up, they play a ball off him. How has the goalkeeper saved that, guys? So win the ball back. Tammy Abraham through to Chupa Akpom. This is our last chance. Chupa Akpom takes on his man. He keeps on going. And they play the ball back to their goalkeeper. Their goalkeeper humps the ball forward. And it looks like now this could be our last chance. But it's not. The referee's not going to give us our last chance. He blows a final whistle. We end up drawing the game nil-nil. Failing to score yet again at the Ibrox Stadium. We're playing better football away from home than we are at home. We need Leon Bailey further up the pitch. Because he's not really doing much at that left mid position. So we're now going to move into our second game of the episode as we will be taking on the Huddlesfield. And as you can see from the league table, we are now in the relegation zone. We've only got six points out of nine games. Huddlesfield have got ten points out of nine games. Um, so it's a must-win game. We cannot afford to be in the scrap at the bottom of the division. We need to pick up wins and we need to get a good run of form going. Come on, boys. Please put in a good performance. So Halliday through to Rotario, Rotario through to Dodo. Dodo's got a good chance here, and he's going to try and get past his man. He does well with the skill move, and then loses it. But can he win it back? He can't. But Ravram Marin's going to try his best to win the ball back for us, as they're playing some good footballs. They play the ball through to Smith. Smith out wide to Scannell, and Scannell back through to Smith, as he's got plenty of room to run into. Clinton Hill is obviously not going to catch him up. They put a good ball into centre, and uh, foddering him with a comfortable catch, as we regain possession of the ball. So Rotario through to Halliday. Halliday plays the ball back to Ravram Marin and we've lost it. But now the referee has gifted us a free kick. So we've got a free kick from a danger position. Ravram Marin's going to take it. Can he get it up and over the wall? He hits it with pace. And what about that for a goal from Ravram Marin? In the 13th minute, we have been failing to score. And now we come up on top with a fantastic goal from Ravram Marin. He's gone across to celebrate with the lone substitute warming up. I don't know why he's warming up, but he's warming up on the sidelines anyway. He's keen to get on the pitch. Clint Hill coming across as well with the captain's armband on, trying to get that team morale up. That is one fantastic strike from Ravram Marin, curling it round the wall and into the back of the net. We take a 1-0 lead and hopefully we can hold on to it. 
What about this from McKay? Lovely piece of turn of pace. He cuts back inside. Lovely play from McKay. McKay goes for goal. And it's pretty much just a 50-50 ball that the Huddersfield defender come out on top. Have a Halliday's wins the ball back. Plays the ball through to Marin. Marin goes down. So we've got another chance, this time from a further distance. But are we are going to give the chance to Marin again. Can he make it two from two? It's a hell of a long way out, but Marin's going to strike it with some pace. He puts a lot of power on it. And what a save from the goalkeeper. That would have been an astonishing goal. Lovely piece of play from Rotario. He plays the ball back inside to Chupa Akpom. Chupa Akpom cuts back inside. Lovely piece of play. We make it two against Huddersfield. And in the first half, we've doubled our lead. And he's doing the salsa dance in there, which we like to see. In the 40th minute, we've taken a 2-0 lead. Ward, the goalkeeper, is not happy with the defending. But that's a lovely ball through from um, our centre attacking midfielder. He plays the ball through to Akpom. Akpom keeps his composure. Ball rolls to one side. And he's one-on-one -on -one against goalkeeper. He's still had a lot to do, but it's a fantastic finish into the back of the net. Come on! Lovely piece of play here as we play the ball through to Tuba Akpom. They play the ball back to their goalkeeper and he just puts his foot through it. He doesn't want to see the ball anywhere near his goal because it's come through his goal a few times and we found the back of the net both times. But we've got the ball with Dodo. Dodo back through to Rotariu. He tries to cut back inside, loses his foot in, and that looks like it's going to be it for the first half. No! It was just a complete mix up at the back. And they've got themselves back in the game. As soon as we come out, we told the players, keep your composure, hold on for 10 minutes, and then we will set ourselves back into the game. What have they done? They've come straight out of the blocks. Our goalkeeper comes out. I don't know what he's doing out there. And the header goes into the far corner of the net. It's 2-1 now, and they're going to start pressing. Lovely piece of play. It's a play ball through to Albert. Albert's just come on the pitch. Ah, oh, scout a future star. Cuts back inside. Can he find the back of the net? He can't. Oh, my God. You've got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. What? Just, just seriously, guys, look at this. How has he got a clear head on that? And foddering him, you've got to be saving that. It was a clear header, and oh, he didn't even dive, he just let himself fall. And from 2 0 up, they've come back to 2 2. So Windas through to Albert. Albert out wide to McKay. McKay can't get to it. We've won the ball back with Holt. Holt plays the ball around the corner. We play it back through to Windas, but we're going to get ourselves a corner kick from that. So we're just 10 minutes remaining now. We are looking for our third of the game. O'Hiran puts a good ball in the box. Can we win that in the air? We can't, but it's only going to come far as Chupa Akpom. He plays the ball back outside to O'Hiran. He plays the ball to far post to Albert. Comes back inside to Chupa Akpom. His header goes high up in the air, and that's easy for the goalkeeper. Good ball back inside to Windas. Windas through to Albert. Albert's got the chance. Our scout future star. He goes for goal, and Albert has found the back of the net. And and it's the first time we put him up top. He's a right midfielder, but we think he's got some good stats to go up top and play as a striker. He scored the goal for us in the 90th minute. We were 2 0 up. They pegged us back to 2 2. And now we're 3 2 up away from home against Huddersfield. And this game could get us out of the relegation zone. Lovely piece of play from Albert. It's a lovely turn. And that's a smart finish as well. Pass the goalkeeper. Yes! So there we go. It was pretty much the last kick of the game. The referee's blown the full-time whistle. And it looks like, well, it doesn't look like we have won the game. 3-2. That's more likely. We have five shots on target. Three of them went into the back of the net. Razvan Marin picks up man of the match. But I do also think that a few other players played very well in that game. I thought we played well. We just shouldn't have conceded them two late goals. But we managed to pick up all three points. And that is what we needed. So as we've just moved into a new month, we will be showing you the squad report so you can keep up to date on how all of the players are getting on. And as you see there, a lot of them are getting on quite well. Indeed, a lot of them have gone up by a lot of ratings as it is. Uh, Harry Wings are still yet to improve, but we've got this guy here, Albert, who is our Scout Future star, has got that potential to be special um, tag. Rotariu um, has actually gone up to 71 rated now, but unfortunately he is only on loan with us, but we will have the chance to buy him on a permanent deal at the end of the season. That's if we have enough money. Of course, Chief Akpom has actually gone up to a 66 rated now, but I did actually read a comment that was saying that um, unless they fix the patch, we might not be able to sign him on a permanent deal from Arsenal because for some reason they haven't accepted or they won't allow you to have him at the club. So I'm not sure whether they fix that patch. I really hope they have because I want to keep him a big time at the club. He's playing very well and he's scoring some very good goals as well. But let's have a look at the league table. We're currently sitting in 21st place, only picking up nine points from 10 games. We're going to be taking on Newcastle now, who have yet to lose a game. They've only conceded five goals. They're running away with the title, and uh, we need to try and peg them back. But, as you can see there, we are awfully close to the bottom, but a win could put us... If we win two or three games on a trot, it could put us up 
to where Celtic are in the ninth position spot. So let's see how we can get on in the third and final game of the episode as we are going to be taking on Newcastle, the Ibrox Stadium. Let's bounce back from the poorer run of results. We just beat Huddersfield by three goals to two. We scored three goals in one game, which is not like us, but let's see if we can score that again. Come on, boys, let's do this. So Tammy Abraham through to Harry Wings. Harry Wings with a lovely chance, cuts back inside and he puts his shot over the bar. Come on, Harry. So Harry Forrester through to Roster. Roster through to Garner. Garner here does very well. Double step over past his man. Garner's just come back from injury and we're hoping he can get back into the run of form and uh, start banging in the goals like he did just before he got injured. So, it's good. What a surprise. 42nd minute, they've taken the lead. And guys, I just, what are defenders doing? They're just running all over the shot. Fodderingham comes out, doesn't get near it. They have a simple shot into the back of the net. And this is a serious problem we've got. We could get sacked. The roster through to Harry Wings. Harry Wings through to Garner. Garner out wide to Waghorn. This is better. Waghorn puts the ball into the centre. Can we win that in the air? We can! And it's a good save from the goalkeeper. Better piece of players. We've got the ball with Tammy Abraham. Tammy Abraham through to Harry Wings. Harry Wings goes for goal and it's weak again. Harry Wings had two chances in this game and you fluff both of them. So Garner's charging through at the defence here. He is going to get caught up, but he offloads the ball through to Tammy Abraham, who's run out of energy. But Tammy Abraham double step over back inside and there's just two made defenders back. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. He's off, isn't he? Keenan looks like he's going to be going for an early shower. And it just goes from bad to worse, doesn't it? Rob Kiernan gets sent off. I don't think it was even a foul. Have a look at the replays here. He does go in rather rashly, but he does get the ball. Well, does he get the I'm not sure. Anyway, he's got sent off. So play the ball through to McKay, as McKay's going to try and take on D. Andre Yedlin, and that's not going to work. But we win the ball back with McKay. McKay plays the ball back inside to Tammy Abraham. How does he block that? How the hell has he come out of nowhere to block that? It was surely a goal. It had goal written all over it, and yet they have blocked it. And I thought we truly deserve something from this game. And now it looks like they're going to go ahead and pick up a second, as I don't think Wallace is going to catch up with the player. Oh, God, we go to ground. One-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. He's put it wide of the post. But the referee blows a full-time whistle, guys. And, yeah, we lost the game. 1-0 against the league leaders, but we shouldn't have lost that. We had a fantastic chance at the end of the game. Tammy Abraham should have put the ball in the back of the net, but how on earth has that guy come out of nowhere to make that block? I just do not know. <laughs> it just says, just want to help you, uh, to thank you for helping the club reach one of its brand exposure goals. Really? I don't think we're doing that well. We're in the relegation zone, I think. We are. We are in the relegation zone and if we don't start putting some good results together, it looks like we're never going to come out of it. But that is in fact going to be it for this episode of Career Mode. If you did enjoy it, please make sure to hit the like button down below as it is going to be very much appreciated. And don't forget, if you are new around here, hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with my latest videos and career modes. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.